Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is May 11th, 2021, Tuesday. The theme of today's devotional is In the Storm. The scripture is from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. On that day when, the, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side, and leaving the crowd behind. They took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves bit into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the storm, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Amen. Today's story is from uh, Madeline, Madeline, who lives in Germany. Due to a decline in my health, I was forced to give up my career as a primary school teacher. The job had enabled me to support my husband and myself while he finished his university degree. This time of financial difficulty has, has been debilitating for us. God is good and has provided us with the means to pay our rent and other bills and to buy food through government benefits. However, we have no money left over for other necessaries. As I am writing this, my benefits will be cut in two months. I wonder how we will pay rent and cover our needs. My husband started a new job, but we are just scribing by. I try to focus on Jesus' calm, coming presence, but the threat of the homelessness strikes constant fear in me. This afternoon, I was in the kitchen when, I, when the sky suddenly turned dark. A storm blew in with strong wind and hail. Then, as quickly as it came, the squall ceased and the sun came out. As I stood on the balcony and soaked in the sunlight, my faith was renewed as I realized that my husband and I are not going through this trial again alone. God is with us in the storm, caring for and protecting us. And in time, God will bring us to the other side of the storm, where the sun will shine again.
It is not easy to endure the storm. Whenever we face the storm in our lives, we usually don't know what we can do or what we should do. Whenever we face some trials that we cannot control, we are depressed, disappointed, and even lose our faith. Like the disciples who were in the storm, even though they were with Jesus, they couldn't have peace in their heart. Even they said to Jesus, Are you not caring for us? Maybe we would like to say the same word to Jesus and God when we have difficulties in our lives. God, Jesus, are you not caring for us? Are you not caring for me? However, as Jesus was with disciples, Jesus is with us all the time. Not only when we are happy, but also when we are sad. Not only when we are in good situations, but also when we are in terrible situations. God is with us because God loves us so much and God promised that He will be with us forever. That's why Jesus said to the disciples, Do you not have no faith still? I know that sometimes we cannot see any help, any hope in our lives when we face trials or difficulties. Like Madeline, she couldn't see anything in her situations. However, God gave her the sign through the storm and the sunshine. Likewise, God will give us the sign when we are when we doubt about God's protecting, God's protection and care, uh, care for us because God loves us. God will let us be alone because God is with us and God loves us and God knows our situations and our weakness as a human being. So, little church, little for church family and friends, let us have hope, let us have trust in God more and more. Even we don't know what will happen in the future. Even we don't know what would be the best way for us. Even we don't know where the help comes from. Because God will help us. God will be with us. And God will give us the strength to endure the situations and overcome the situations. Let us trust in God because God is great and God is powerful and God is grateful. Let's trust in God. Let's pray. Loving Father, thank you for your presence during our trials. When we face troubles, help us always to find you in the midst of the storm. Gracious God, please be with us and help us and let us see you and let us focus on you and let us try to find the signs that you give us even in our trials. Please be with us and help us and let us be in you, your presence, your mercy, your grace, and your peace. Lord, be with us and help us. 
In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God is with you and me, and God is caring for you and me. Let us have hope. Let us have the faith that God is with us. Have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.